An arrest warrant has been issued by Dallas PD for Rasheed Rice. He received eight charges, according to police. That's right. Rasheed Rice got charged with eight felonies and had to turn himself into the police. And in this video, I'm going to break it down all for you and do my best to explain what happens from here. So let's talk about it. But first, how about those? <laughs> Okay, to start things off, here's a quick summary of everything that's happened up until this point. Back on Saturday, March 30th, a Corvette and Lamborghini were seen racing, speeding on a Dallas freeway when they lost control of their vehicles and caused four other cars to crash along with them, which was six vehicles in total uh, that wrecked and four people were injured with initial reports saying they were just minor injuries, although two were taken to the hospital for these injuries. Then the drivers of both vehicles, along with those inside both vehicles, the vet and Lambo, all fled the scene, and it was quickly discovered that Chiefs wide receiver Rashi Rice was involved. The Corvette was actually his, and he was renting the Lamborghini himself and reportedly driving it, which he confirmed later. And a side note to this is, when they fled the scene, uh, the police report said they left behind some marijuana in both vehicles, credit cards, a $16.5,000 check, God, that's a lot of money, a diamond chain, and the playbook for the Kansas City Chiefs, not the playbook. Anyway, after this, Rashid sought counsel, and that was lawyer and Senator Royce West. West then spoke to the media last week about it all, officially confirming Rice was indeed driving the Lambo, and he said he reached out to the Dallas PD on Rice's behalf Sunday evening, which would have been uh, the day after the crash, March 31st. And as of last week, they had met with the police department two separate times and mentioned that Rice has fully cooperated with the police department and has responded to every question asked of him by the police and will continue to cooperate with the department all throughout this process. Rice himself confirmed as much via a social media post of his own on April 3rd, saying he met with Dallas PD investigators and takes full responsibility for his part in the matter, noting he will continue to cooperate with the necessary authorities, apologizing to everyone one impacted in the incident before signing off. His lawyer then continued in that media presser saying that they are reaching out to all the victims and Rice is going to do everything he can in his power to bring the lives of those affected back to as normal as possible. Senator Royce West concluded by saying the situation is ongoing, let it all play out, but did mention we may hear from Rice this week and while I'm not sure if it's gonna be Rice formally speaking in some capacity or not, we did get an update to the situation on April 10th around 5.30 p.m. Central, and that is an arrest warrant was issued for Rashi Rice in connection to his involvement in the crash, and this means Rice had 24 hours from the time of the issued warrant to turn himself into the police. Well, when the news broke via this article from WFAA, uh, Rice had not yet turned himself in, and it wasn't clear exactly when he would do so, but Josina Anderson said a source told her around 7.30 p.m. that Rice is currently planning to turn himself over to authorities in connection with active warrants for his arrest by the Dallas PD, per source. Then said the specifics of that process are still being finalized at this time, but the specifics of the process are He's gotta go turn himself in. And before I get to what's next for Rasheed Rice, it's worth taking a look at what this warrant is all about and why it even got issued. The warrant was issued because the 23-year-old wideout now faces eight charges, eight felony charges, I believe all of them are, in this ongoing case. And those charges are as follows. Six counts of collision involving bodily injury, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury, and one count of aggravated assault. It's also worth noting that 21-year-old Theodore Knox, who was driving Rashi's Corvette, is facing the same charges as Rice. Knox, from what I understand, is allegedly a cornerback on the current roster of the SMU football team where Rice played in college. Then, all the passengers that were in both of these vehicles will not be facing any of these charges. So that leaves just Rice and Knox facing eight charges per the Dallas PD. And the reason for these charges is most likely due to the injuries sustained by the victims. Four people were injured, but two of the crash victims were taken to the hospital, with one of them reportedly sustaining a big laceration to her left eye that required several stitches. Of these charges, you can see they all potentially could include a fine in some form of prison or jail time in various lengths. And these, of course, do not look great at all, but they are just the initial charges and the legal process still has to play out. And according to Bird Law Expert, who is actually a lawyer by profession, aggravated assault is reckless, causing serious bodily injury. And while it's true that 
Initially, all injuries were reported to be not serious. The DA must have believed injuries were serious enough to file charges for serious bodily injury with the definition of that being listed here. Now, in order for the arrest warrant to be issued, you need just one judge to say there's probable cause of serious bodily injury, which is a pretty low bar, but you would need 12 jurors to unanimously agree that there's SBI, which he says is a different ball game entirely. He then goes on to detail more in this thread, but at the end of the day, once all is said and done here, he doesn't believe Rice will miss anything close to the full season. And there's another lawyer that also thinks Rice will spend very little time suspension wise this season. But before I get to that, the reason why this video is delayed is because I was trying to wait and see if there was actually going to be a report report of Rice turning himself in and if there was going to be any more update from that, but it's been almost 24 hours exactly, no news, so I'm just going to have to assume Rice is turning himself in because why the heck would you wait and have the police have to come and get you? He's already been in contact with them multiple times, has a very smart lawyer. He's not going to do anything stupid here. So we're just going to have to assume that he has indeed turned himself in or he will be doing that very soon. So whether he turns himself in very soon or already did, the question is, What's next for Rice and what does this mean? Well, Drew Davenport, a practicing defense attorney for 23 years, weighed in on the subject as well via a X thread, a Twitter thread, and I feel like it's so good that it's worth summarizing here. First, he said, don't read too much into the warrant being issued. This is merely standard protocol that gets drummed up by the media. He did find it odd they issued a warrant when Rice has already retained counsel, but again, don't stress about the warrant. Even with these second or third degree felony charges, Drew's concern went from a two all the way up to a four, because from what we all know and understand, Rice has no priors, and that's a big factor. He then said he will turn himself in, which he did or will turn himself in very soon and be processed without spending much, if any, jail time. The case will then be set for an arraignment where he will plead not guilty. At least that's what this guy says. So, okay, he'll plead not guilty and then the case begins. Drew thinks this should all be done before the season, noting felony cases can take longer, but expects Rice's team to move quickly and try and get this over with ASAP. The charges are sort of worse than expected, where you don't really want to see the charge of aggravated assault or multiple charges for that matter, but the fact that multiple people were involved makes the multiple counts pretty standard. At the end of the day, he does not think Rice will get much of a suspension. Before all these charges, he thought he would get zero games suspended. Now, he's leaning towards one to two games and thinks this will all ultimately get pled down to a couple misdemeanors, a suspension, and a hefty restitution bill and does not see Rice as having a real major issue here. Sure, the charges are serious, he's not downplaying that, but predicts Rice will have a nice long career with Patrick Mahomes in front of him once all is said and done. So yeah, I think this is most likely how things will play out. The charges will get pled down, Rice gets a small suspension, and then everyone moves on. I mean, hopefully the victims don't suffer any long-term injuries and Rice learns from this never to repeat these dumb actions again. But with all that being said, what are your thoughts on all this at the moment? Do all the felony charges concern you or not really considering what I just processed through with you guys uh, via Drew and Bird Law Expert earlier in these threads? Let me know either way in the comments down below. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those? Yeah.